If there were to be a woman's version of the film Blood Sport, it could certainly star Ebony, the blonde bomber, Bridges. She is one to keep an eye on. Let's talk about how the blonde bomber bombed away Shannon O'Connell. This past Saturday, December 10th, 2022, saw the Women's Bantamweight Championship for the IBF on the line as Ebony Bridges took on Shannon O'Connell. The fight took place in Leeds, UK. This was an opportunity for O'Connell to bring her experience to the ring because she had come into the fight with a fight record of 23 and five with one draw. And as she decided to challenge for Bridges title, she had shown in previous bouts that not only does she bring knockouts, but she brings a bit of boxing experience that really is respected in the sport. Now, the thing about O'Connell's success, it was predicated on her being a technically proficient fighter with decent pop on her punches. And at 5'5", she had a reach of 62 and a half inches. In this fight, her height and reach were not to be a significant factor at all. Bridges, who entered the bout with the record of eight and one, came in to show that she was a champion and why. With only four KOs in her fights, she stands at 5-1, and they don't have a record of her reach, but she's a little bit stocky, and after the weigh-in, it looked like she put on a little bit more bulk which was kind of smart for the fight that she decided to fight. Bridges, who was not afraid of contact at all, entered the bout looking to apply pressure on O'Connell. And O'Connell was stepping back, stepping to the side, pumping the jab, pumping combinations, which were effective. And after the first round, Bridges and her team decided that she would come in with more aggression and start outright banging and trying to draw O'Connell into a slugfest. Though O'Connell wouldn't comply with the slugfest, she was having difficulty dealing with the pressure that Bridges was putting on her. Bridges reminded me of Sean Porter the way she fought because as Sean has been known to do in his fights he will definitely take the fight to the opponent with aggression that is effective body work sometimes working behind that jab but just looking to stay on top of the opponent to not let them get a breather and that was exactly what Ebony did in this fight when they call her the Blonde Bomber, the name appropriately fits because in this fight, she opened up 
with a windstorm of shots that were banging O'Connell to the body and to the head to the degree that O'Connell was very uncomfortable, couldn't get into a rhythm and couldn't get catch the timing of Bridges who after any time the referee separated them, Bridges was right on top of her again. She was very uncomfortable in this fight. Bridges, who is from New South Wales, Australia, gave an effort that I really admire in this fight. Because if it came down to technically boxing, O'Connell may have had an opportunity to upset her but she took that off the table by not allowing her opponent a chance to think, not allowing her to get into the rhythm, not allowing her to uncork punches that could harm her at a certain distance by staying close to her opponent, smothering the opponent's shots and still getting off her own. She was able to set the tempo. There was no point in the fight that we saw Shannon make an adjustment to what was happening. She was dropped in the third round and it was a solid knockdown. And as the pressure mounted, she really began to wither. Though she appeared to be in extremely good condition, I think mentally, psychologically, Bridges really got to it. Later in the mid rounds, Bridges was throwing a wonderful one two combination that every time that she caught Shannon on the chin, it wobbled her or made her take a step back. So the power was definitely there. I noticed also that Bridges began to have a sense of blood in the water smelling that the opponent was deteriorating and she managed to find an extra step or level to turn up the intensity even more as the rounds progressed. I enjoyed watching her perform just as she had done on other occasions. I remember in one of her matches where she had a swollen eye and it was grotesquely sh swollen shut and she wore it like a badge of honor in the post fight because she recognizes that she is a warrior. You have to have that temperament of a fighter that you have to endure. You have to go through trial. You have to have hardship and understand that perseverance through that is what will sustain you as a champion. Bridges understands this more than a lot of fighters, including men. Though she is quite attractive to see outside of the ring. She doesn't carry that with her psyche in the ring. She is a doggedly determined warrior, and I totally respect that. Being a bantamweight, she's awfully small. It's really funny to see when she's standing next to people like her promoter, Ed Hearn who's six foot four or so, and you can see how small she really is. This is the type of fighter that will always give you your money's worth when you go to watch her fight. She is not someone who will take a round off. She will always give her best effort. And in this fight, you could see her straight from after the first round, she realized that she was going to have to be on top of Shannon O'Connell and give her everything she had in order to secure a victory. Now, were there things that Shannon could have done? Absolutely. I noticed that she looked to throw her jab and was looking to throw those straight shots, but she got in very little body work. And that would have been an assistance to her doing better in the fight. But a lot of fighters just forget to work the body. Yes, it's okay to pump the jab. The jab should be first and foremost as part of your rep repertoire. But you have to mix in body shots to make the opponent respect the distance. 
again boxing 101 when fighters do not have a complete set of tools they can fail when they are given or provided a test of particular circumstances and this is where Shannon O'Connell failed in this fight she wasn't prepared to make the adjustments she was trying to deal with what was instead of trying to change the climate of what was taking place to something more favorable for herself but she fought like a trooper she was in there giving her best effort it's just that the energetic wave of aggression met it out by ebony bridges was a little bit too much for her and as the fight wore on she was withering and withering until the eighth round came about and that's when the referee stepped in and decided to wave it off she was just taking too much punishment at that point and bridges was coming on stronger there's another element that bridges brings and that's what i said earlier about smelling blood in the water she knows when to really step it up and some fighters do not get that feel they can see a person is hurt but they just go wild or kind of blow a knockout by not setting it up well bridges with the aggression that she brought the body work the in close fighting everything that she did that was on top of shannon o'connell made her totally uncomfortable and as the rounds progressed it was at 145 of the eighth that referee howard foster stepped in and said that's enough lady you've had enough so kudos to ebony bridges the blonde bomber the ibf bantamweight champion i look forward to seeing what's next in her future she's definitely a crowd-pleasing fighter she's to be respected and commended for what she brings to the sport of boxing let me know what your thoughts are about her performance and what would you like to see from her next who would you like to see her compete against next it will be a barn burner whomever she's in there with this is stormy b man shout out to the mighty ldbc and liberated perspective a third eye view of the world for more content such as this please like comment subscribe and share let me know your thoughts about the blonde bomb peace to everyone out there and everyone please remain safe